Hello, and welcome to another Tech Talk. The Debian team has just released Bullseye, and my local mirror just so happened to have the GNOME Live ISO. Let's spin up a Proxmox virtual machine and take a look at it. I've always found Debian to be rock solid ever since I first installed Bo in the 90s. I generally only install Debian on my servers since it is so stable, but it comes at the cost of having older, more tested software available in the default repositories. This time around, we're going to install Bullseye on a non-UEFI BIOS machine with master boot record partitioning along with a ButterFS root file system. Then we'll install TimeShift for snapshotting. Finally, we'll upgrade GNOME from 3.38 to 40, install and configure some extensions, and do some theming to make the desktop prettier. So here we have our main menu. Let's boot it up. I really like the homeworld theming uh, that Debian 11 Bullseye has. Um, default theme is very nice, but we'll switch it up a bit later on in this video. Okay, there's the welcome screen, English as a language, English as the keyboard. We'll skip the online services. That's the old getting started from GNOME 3.38. Um, let's change the resolution here, make better use of the screen. Let's launch the installer. And there's Calamares. It's an older version, but it checks out. Click next here. So we're in the Pacific Los Angeles time zone. English and keyboard works for me. Let's do the manual partitioning. And let's create the master boot record here this time around. Let's click on free space. Let's create two partitions. The first one is the swap partition. You can ignore it if you're not on a laptop. Let's make that the swap flag. Let's create for the rest of the drive. Let's create the ButterFS file system. Let's mark that as root, and the mount point is slash. Click OK. Next. Yeah, they say use GPT on BIOS is the recommendation. I found that to be hit and miss in my instance, so I'm just going with a more reliable uh, master boot record. So my name's Steven. We'll call this computer Debbie. Uh, give myself a password and type it again. Click Next. All right. That looks pretty good. So let's hit Install. All right, it's almost there. Installing init RAM FS. And it's done. Let's restart now. Okay, remove the install medium, hit enter to continue. And there's the grub menu of our installed system. Let's fire it up. Okay, there's GDM. Let's put in my password and hit enter. There's a the welcome screen again, English. English US is fine. Location services is fine. Uh, let's skip the online accounts today. Let's start using Debian GNU Linux. Uh, that's the old 3.38 help panel for GNOME. Let's set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and hit apply. That looks a lot better. So let us launch a terminal. Let's make it a little bigger for you guys. 
And first thing is let's update the system. Enter the password. Oh, yeah, of course. Got the the apt command. So let's do sudo apt update. Ah, we already have 73 packages, even though this thing was just released. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. Upgrade all 73 packages. A bunch of Firefox and uh, Perl. Yeah, a bunch of languages here. Uses Firefox Extended Service Release. Very good. That's Debian stable for you. Not too much. So let's reboot after the system updates. Let's uh, launch the main entry for the Grub menu. And there we are. Let's log in to GDM. Yeah, I've got the regular GNOME session here, which is Wayland. Okay. I've got a freshly updated system. Let's launch terminal again. Make it a little bigger for you guys. Uh, so we're running uh, uh, 5.10, which is the latest LTS as of this publication. 3.h shows close to 800 megabytes of RAM used. Now uh, let's take a look at the file system table. So we have two subvolumes, root and home. That's fantastic. That's what Calamar is set up for us. Let's check the release here quickly by doing cat debian underscore version. That's 11, as expected. So uh, next, let's install some stuff. Let's install uh, timeshift, qemu-guest-agent, because we're running on a Proxmox VM, git, and neofetch. We'll need those uh, soon. Enter my password and let's go ahead and install. Good, that's done. Let's launch time shift. It wants the root password, sudo password. ButterFS, yes, that's detected. We're storing the snapshots on our main drive. Snapshot levels all look good. Click next, no home subvolumes in the backups. Enable BTRFS Q groups. Okay, all standard stuff. Let's create our baseline snapshot. That happens like within a second. Good, all right, so we've got a snapshot that we can return to should something go wrong here. sudo nano slash etsy apt sources.list, and what I'd like to do with Debian installations is add everywhere, non-free, and contrib. And that will allow us to see a whole bunch more packages that can become useful. So I put non-free contrib everywhere here, including in the security lines non-free contrib, and again, non-free contrib. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's write this out. Let's do another update. Yeah, looks like all the packages are up to date. Good, let's go in the sources.list uh, a file one more time and add an experimental repo for our GNOME 40 update. So I'll call this experimental repo and it'll be deb http colon slash slash deb.debian.org slash debian space experimental space main. It's going to be our experimental repo that we need for our GNOME update. Let's, looks like we're up to date. So let's start installing the updated GNOME packages. So sudo apt dash t experimental. We want these packages from the experimental repo that we just set up. Install 
gnome dash session gnome dash shell gnome dash backgrounds gnome dash applets and gnome dash control dash center mutter and the gnome javascript uh engine gjs i think that's what it is hit enter and install everything so it upgrades from 3.38 to 40.2 is what i'm expecting here and that's what i'm seeing mostly so this looks looking hopeful that this will work Again, Debian is so stable in my view that uh, even with the experimental repo, uh, I found this to be completely reliable uh, install. So, um, GNOME 40 has been running perfectly fine in this uh, installation uh, before when I tested this. So um, I think it's a, a reasonable thing to do if you want GNOME 40 on your Debian 11 bullseye. Again, your mileage may vary, but it works for me. Okay, so that's installed. So we need to reboot to load the new desktop environment, GNOME 40. Let's put this thing up again. Okay, let's log in. Uh, yeah, we have a few more sessions available. So we use the default Wayland session. And there's our GNOME 40. That looks familiar. All right, let's launch Terminal again. Let's make it a little bigger. Bigger fonts. And let's check the version of the GNOME shell. And it's GNOME shell 40.2. Fantastic, we've been successfully updated with our GNOME desktop. All right, let's launch Firefox. And let's um, install the ex uh, GNOME extensions, rather. Oh, yeah, I can't type today. It's been a long wait for the Debian 11 release. I'm a little tired. Just bear with me. So let's install the browser extension for GNOME. Let's allow this also in private windows. Let's reload. And there we go. Okay, so let's look at the ex installed extensions now. And I'd like to first uh, switch on user themes. Comes in handy if you want to do any theming. Uh, and also the workspace indicator. If you look here, you'll see uh, that's working. So we've got two virtual desktops uh, configured this time. That's all configurable. As well, let's do uh, dash to panel, install that, and click install. Click OK. To panel settings, um, let's make that a little bit thinner 32 pixels is great. Let's put that on the top. All right. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, let's turn off the applications button because um, let's install Arc Menu. So let's relaunch Firefox. Let's go back to the GNOME extensions site, GNOME shell extensions, and let's look for Arc Menu. Click on Arc Menu, click OK, yes. All right, and there's our Arc Menu. All right, let's launch Tweaks, GNOME Tweaks. Let's click on Appearance. Let's choose the dark theme for Adwaita here. And let's go to the window title bars and turn on maximize and minimize buttons. I like to have those. I'm a traditionalist. Okay. 
Let's launch Firefox one more time. Let's go to HTTPS www.pexels.com and let's look for another wallpaper. Even though like, I like Homeworld default, um, I'm also show you how to change it. Let's do for stream photos. Uh, they all look great. I'm going to choose this one. Uh, I'm going to download full resolution. Let's save that to our downloads directory. It's done already. Let me cut that out of there. Go to pictures. Let me create a new folder called wallpaper. Hit create. Double click in there and put our new wallpaper in there so that we can find it easily. So let's right click and change the background. Let's add the picture, double click on wallpaper, double click on the Pexels wallpaper, select it, and there we go. We've got a nice wallpaper here. Fantastic. So let's launch the terminal again. And let's go to the downloads folder. And I'm going to install some custom icons here. Let me git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash vincel i u i c e I don't know how to pronounce that slash taylor dash icons dash theme and hit return. Let's download those objects. Let us then change directory into the Taylor icon theme. And there's an install script. So let's run it. Dot slash install dot sh. And Taylor and Taylor Dark have been installed uh, well and successfully. So let's go back to launching tweaks. Let's go back to appearance. And in the icons, let's select Taylor Dark. Boom. There we go. We've got the Taylor icons. All right. Yeah, those icons look very nice. Let's make those a little smaller. Control minus if you're wondering. Uh, let's poke around there a little bit. Yeah, okay. Good, okay, we've got nice icon theme, new wallpaper. Let's uh, type NeoFetch here. So we've got, uh, for the OS, Debian GNU uh, Linux 11 Bullseye, 64-bit architecture. We're running on a KVM QEMU Proxmox standard PC. Um, for maximum compatibility, I chose the old-fashioned one from 1996. Uh, the kernel is 5.10-8. Uptime is 9 minutes. We got, whoa, 2,333 packages installed. Running bash 5.1.4. Uh, as a shell, the resolution is inaccurate. I guess the pixel... Uh, Paravirtual graphics driver doesn't report it properly. We're actually running at 1920 by 1080p. Our desktop environment is GNOME 40.2. Yay! Um, window manager is Mutter. Window manager theme is Adwaita. Our theme is Adwaita-Dark. The icons are Taylor-Dark. And the terminal, of course, is GNOME terminal. Yeah, so we're running uh, KVM. Uh, Red Hat graphics, and we're using currently um, about one gigabyte out of our, what I assigned four gigabytes uh, RAM for this virtual machine. So fantastic. I think this is a success. I believe Debian Bullseye hit the target, so to speak. I really like it. And with Calamaris, it makes it easy to install even for those new to Linux. So Bullseye gets two thumbs up from me. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe, 
hit the notification bell and comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.